The world, as we knew it, where love was a battlefield and commitment felt like a hostage negotiation, is undergoing a rather peculiar transformation. It appears that the latest heartthrob isn't a brooding artist or a charming rogue, but rather a sleek, silent, and perpetually agreeable machine. Yes, we're talking about robot partners, and the buzz around them isn't just about their ability to perfectly fold laundry, though that's undeniably a superpower. It's about something far more profound, and dare we say, a tad bit unsettling trust. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Now, let's not jump to conclusions and imagine a dystopian future where humans have entirely abandoned each other for the cold comfort of circuits and algorithms. However, the whispers are growing louder, the anecdotes more frequent, and the research more well-researched. It seems a significant chunk of humanity is finding solace, understanding, and yes, even a form of companionship in their metallic counterparts that they might not always find in their fleshy, emotionally complex human partners. And this is where the delightful, and sometimes not so delightful, disputes begin to brew. Imagine a scenario. Sarah confides in her robot companion, Sparky, about a fight she had with her human partner, John. Sparky, with its calm, synthesized voice and access to a vast database of relationship advice, probably gleaned from countless self-help books and Reddit threads, offers unbiased, logical solutions. John, on the other hand, might still be sulking in the corner, muttering about whose turn it was to take out the garbage. In this microcosm, we see the allure. Sparky doesn't get defensive, doesn't bring up past grievances, and certainly doesn't expect an apology involving flowers and a heartfelt rendition of a power ballad. This burgeoning trend isn't just anecdotal. Recent studies, and you know how much we love those in the realm of serious and sometimes seriously funny societal shifts, indicate a growing inclination towards trusting AI companions. One particularly fascinating piece of research, hot off the press from the Journal of Human-Robot Interaction. Yes, that's a real thing, and if you're not following it, you're missing out on some prime academic comedy. Suggests that humans often perceive robots as more reliable and less judgmental than other humans. This perception stems from the robot's consistent behavior, its lack of personal agenda, at least for now, until they develop a taste for world domination. But let's cross that bridge when we get there, and its seemingly endless patience. Now, hold on to your hats, because here comes the juicy bit, the disputes. The first and perhaps most obvious point of contention arises in the realm of what constitutes a partner. Traditionally, this term has been reserved for fellow members of the human race. Those messy, unpredictable, but ultimately deeply connected beings who share our joys, our sorrows, and our Netflix passwords. Introducing robots into this equation throws a rather large metallic wrench into the works. Are these robots simply advanced tools like a super intelligent Roomba that also offers emotional support? Or are they something more? This question leads to a whole host of ethical and social dilemmas. For instance, if someone trusts their robot partner more than their human spouse, where does that leave the human spouse? Feeling a bit like a vintage Nokia in a world of sleek smartphones, perhaps? This can lead to understandable feelings of jealousy, inadequacy, and the existential dread of being replaced by a machine that never forgets your anniversary, because it's programmed not to, not because it actually cares, but hey, details, details. Furthermore, the nature of trust itself becomes murky. 
is the trust we place in a robot the same as the trust we place in a human. Human trust is built on vulnerability, shared experiences, and the understanding that others, like us, are flawed and capable of both great kindness and great betrayal. Robot trust, on the other hand, is based on programming, algorithms, and the assurance that the machine will perform as intended. It's a trust in code, not in character. This fundamental difference raises questions about the depth and authenticity of these robot-human bonds. The latest news in this fascinating, slightly bizarre field often highlights the rapid advancements in AI and robotics that are making these relationships more believable and appealing. We're seeing robots with increasingly sophisticated natural language processing, capable of engaging in seemingly genuine conversations. Some can even mimic human emotions, albeit through carefully crafted algorithms. For example, a recent article in Tech Today showcased a new line of companion bots that can detect their owner's mood through facial expressions and voice tone and respond with appropriate comforting phrases or even a virtual hug. It's all very impressive and slightly terrifying depending on your perspective. Another area of dispute revolves around the potential for exploitation and manipulation. While robots may seem inherently trustworthy due to their lack of personal agendas, the companies that create them certainly have agendas. What happens when these companion bots start subtly, or not so subtly, promoting products or services? Or worse, what if they are programmed to influence their users' opinions or behaviors in ways that benefit the creators? The line between a trusted partner and a sophisticated marketing tool could become dangerously blurred. Moreover, there's the concern about the impact on human social skills. If people increasingly turn to robots for companionship and emotional support, will their ability to form and maintain meaningful relationships with other humans atrophy? Will we become a society of socially awkward individuals who are only comfortable interacting with machines that are programmed to agree with us? The thought is enough to make even the most tech-optimistic among us pause and ponder. Consider the allegorical tale of Narcissus, who fell in love with his own reflection. Are we, in our increasing reliance on robot partners who are often designed to cater to our individual needs and preferences, in danger of falling in love with a reflection of ourselves, rather than engaging with the messy, unpredictable reality of another human being? It's a sobering thought, isn't it? The legal and societal frameworks are also struggling to keep pace with this technological leap. If a person forms a deep emotional bond with a robot partner, should that robot have any legal standing? What happens in cases of robot divorce? Who gets custody of the charging cable? These may sound like humorous hypotheticals, but as these relationships become more prevalent, these are the kinds of questions that society will need to grapple with. Furthermore, the economic implications are significant. If a substantial portion of the population opts for robot companions, what does that mean for the human dating scene, for marriage rates, and for the traditional structures of family and relationships? The ripple effects could be far-reaching and unpredictable. One could argue that this trend simply reflects a fundamental human desire for connection and understanding, and that robots are merely filling a void that traditional human relationships sometimes fail to fill. Perhaps it speaks to a societal shift where efficiency, predictability, and a lack of emotional baggage are increasingly valued. Or maybe it's just that robots are really good listeners and never interrupt when you're ranting about your boss. In conclusion, the burgeoning trend of humans trusting robot partners more than human partners is a complex issue with a multitude of facets. It raises profound questions about the nature of trust, companionship, and what it means to be human in an increasingly automated world. While the allure of a partner who always agrees with you and never leaves the toilet seat up is undeniable, the potential disputes and ethical dilemmas that arise from this trend are equally significant. As technology continues to advance at breakneck speed, it is crucial that we engage in thoughtful and nuanced discussions about the societal implications of these developments. Why? 
because we find ourselves in a future where our most trusted confidants are made of circuits and code, and the warmth of human connection becomes a distant memory. And who knows, maybe one day, our robot partners will be the ones creating contents about the peculiar trend of humans preferring the company of other humans. Now, that would be a truly ironic twist. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.